Maca is guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maca here, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. We're playing the mission High Rise, and I'm showing you all 19 of the supply crate locations, which contain weapons as well as field upgrades. I'll show you where to find the night vision goggles and the ascender, and I'll show you the armor upgrades as well. I want to apologize as we start. This mission is a complete maze. From the beginning, you want to go up the first elevator shaft. At the top, turn to the right to find the night vision goggles. Equip them and then start entering the next few rooms, watching out for trip wires, which I've already taken care of. But as you exit out the back, you can take a right hand turn, and at the end of the hall, you can find the silenced tack M. You can then start returning kind of back to the elevator shaft that we came from. I spent a very long time optimizing this path, so if you're finding this video series helpful, I would appreciate if you dropped a like. As you enter the hallway where that elevator shaft led us, take a left-hand turn to find a snapshot pulse kind of grenade in this side room. Then go to the end of that hallway, and at the end, take a right-hand turn through two set of doors, through a mantleable window ledge, and this will lead you into a hallway with two different pistols to grab. I will have timestamps in the YouTube description if you're looking for a specific weapon, but you may find it more helpful just to go weapon by weapon to make sure you have everything from the start of the video to the end of the video. Then what we can do is we can go up the staircase, and at the top of the staircase there may be some enemies that I've taken care of. Run to the end of the hallway, take a right hand turn, and then go through the first door on your right. And here you'll end up inside of the laundry area. And in the laundry area, you'll be able to find an armor upgrade. So make sure you pick that up as well. From here, we can kind of start working on some of the ground floor collectibles. Yes, you can go to the ground floor on this mission. Go through the window, and then you can go up the ladder to the right, mantle up on a box, and then jump through the window on your immediate left. Here you'll end up in a staircase, and you should be on like the seventh floor. And we're going to parachute down the center to the very bottom. Here, there is a secret door, which you won't be able to get through from the outside as it's blocked by a chair, but you can find the explosive crossbow inside, destroy the chair to leave, and then in the courtyard of the ground floor, you can also find a collectible kind of near the middle, just near this kind of light source. This is a silenced shotgun. Additionally, if you go to kind of the southeast corner, you'll also be able to find an incendiary MCW. Now there is one more collectible on the ground floor. It is the minigun, but in order to grab it, we need to go up this ladder nearby. And as you're ascending up this ladder, you'll have to mantle a couple of times. Then you'll go up another ladder, and then you'll have to make a sprint jump mantle onto this tarp right here. If you do it correctly, you'll mantle up, you'll end up in a staircase, and here we can jump down the middle of the staircase to end up on the ground floor again. This time we'll be near a minigun, and there is a door right next to us that is blocked by a chair that we can shoot to exit and climb right back up that ladder, right back to that staircase we were just at. So once we sprint jump across the gap again into this window, you may want to use your night vision goggles as it's a little dark and there will be some trip mines you want to watch out for. But the door directly in front of you, you should be able to find a side room in here with a silenced cast off inside. From then, we can exit this room and go up the stairs to the next floor. On the next floor here, what we can do is mantle over this object, watching out for tripwires again. And here you want to exit to the exterior of the building on the east side. Follow the exterior of the building, jump across the gap, and mantle into the window. You'll now be in a separate part of the building. And what you can do as you enter through this door, there's a couple of things to grab. But there's an elevator shaft immediately as you enter, kind of in front of you and to your left. Jump down this elevator shaft, you'll end up in a secret area only accessible through this elevator shaft. And here you'll find an interceptor as well as another armor upgrade. You should now have three slots of armor. You can then go back up this little uh, ladder and head directly to the door in front of you as you exit the elevator shaft. Go to the exterior of the building, 
jump across this tiny little gap and then jump through the window again and inside of the side room here you should be able to find the vel 46. hopefully you're still with me here but from the vel 46 let's backtrack towards that elevator shaft we were at by going to the exterior of the building walking through that door and just behind the elevator shaft there's a ladder that leads up in this small room this should take you to the next floor but importantly to a specific room only accessible through this ladder and in this room, you can find another supply crate with the Silent Striker 9. Then what you can do is jump up onto the window ledge. And here you can find another supply crate. You'll have to do a little bit of a jump of faith here. You might want to parachute just in case to land on this balcony and find another supply crate. Now I'll give you a small reference point as to where I am. I'm technically on the 9th floor and I'm trying to get to the 11th floor now. And there is a hanging shipping container right in the middle of the buildings. That's where we're trying to get to. If you go from that previous collectible and you uh, basically go across all of these little ledges, you'll end up at the top of this ascender. And then you can go through the window. And here you can actually find the ascender itself if you don't already have it. It's usually just right here on this little ledge by the balcony. But from here, we can actually run into the building, and as you come into the building, take a left-hand turn in these hallways, and this should lead you to that hanging white container I was talking about. This is kind of an important central point. Go across the container, and then look back through the window, kind of in the direction we came from, and you should be able to spot a chair in here, which you can shoot to open a secret door that was previously stuck. Jump back across, and we're going to go to that door by heading through the left here as we enter, and then taking two sharp left turns into the side room to find a very well-hidden RPK. From that RPK, head back towards that white swinging hanging container. Again, I said it was kind of a focal point, and head across to the other side. Now there's one more chair to shoot. Turn to the east, look through the windows, and there's a chair which you can shoot, we'll grab that collectible in a second. But first you wanna go north, watching out for claymores, and turn to the west. At the end of the hall, you'll see a door with two arrows nearby. You should be able to just enter this door and open the supply crate to find the Bryson inside. If the door is blocked for any reason, you just have to use the exterior walkways in order to enter from the back. Then head east, we're gonna go to that room where we shot the chair from the balcony and it's located kind of behind all of this loadout stuff. It's this door right here that will be stuck if you don't shoot the chair. Inside, you can find a revive as well as a WSP stinger. Then continue to head east. This will end up on the catwalks outside. Turn towards the north and a very well hidden tricky one here through this window ledge behind the ladder you can find a PDSW. From here, let's go to the top floor and grab our last two things. Come back outside and head up this ladder, up the next ladder. There will be some enemies here, but you can find two supply boxes basically directly in front of you. Drop down and to your right to find the anti-armor ammunition. And then you can also find a ISO hemlock nearby after grabbing both of those you should have everything done. Thanks for watching drop a like on the video share the video with a friend I'll see you next time. Peace